Welcome back to my kitchen guys. Today I'll be making me some delicious pumpkin pie in a, my kitchen, bursting with flavor. This pumpkin pie recipe is my very favorite. It's just rich, smooth, and tastes incredible. Serve with some whipped cream on top. So if you wanna learn this delicious recipe, please do not forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Let's get this process started, guys. These are all the ingredients you need to make your pumpkin pie. Over here, I've got my ready-made pie crust. Please do not judge me, guys. It's Thanksgiving, everyone has a busy schedule, but if you wanna go ahead and make your homemade pie crust, please go ahead and do so. I've got me some granulated sugar, some dark brown sugar, I've got me three eggs right here. I'm going to use two whole eggs and then I'm going to use one for my egg yolk. I've got my pumpkin puree, 100% pure pumpkin. And I'm using a 12 ounce can of pumpkin. Some cinnamon powder. I love that smell that it gives my pumpkin pie. And my vanilla. You cannot go wrong without your vanilla and some salt to give it that balanced taste because we're using some dairy products and my room temperature evaporated milk. So guys, wait no more, let's get this process started. So we're gonna start off by adding our pumpkin puree into our mixing bowl. To that, I'm going in with my two eggs and then my egg yolk. The egg yolk helps to give the pumpkin pie a super creamy consistency. So we're going to whisk everything together. We wanna to make sure our egg is well incorporated into our pumpkin mixture. Please make sure you whisk until it's smooth and is well combined, looking just like this. We are now going in with our room temperature evaporated milk which gives the pumpkin pie a smooth texture. Look at all of that niceness going in my pumpkin pie mixture. And then we're gonna whisk together until it is well combined. Please make sure guys you whisk until it is smooth and looking just like this here. Follow these steps, you won't go wrong. Going in with my dark brown sugar. Going in with my granulated sugar and I'm just giving it that nice whisk making sure it is well combined. Mm -mm -mm. I cannot wait to dig into my pumpkin pie. Up next I'm going in with my vanilla, my cinnamon powder, my salt and I'm giving it that nice whisk. Please make sure guys you whisk around the edges because we want everything to combine. We don't want any lumps in our pumpkin pie. We want a smooth, nice and well mixed pumpkin pie mixture. A moment of silence guys and just take a look at my pumpkin pie filling. The smell is everything. The consistency is at the right texture. I'm in love with this baby. Cannot wait to dig in. Before we add our pumpkin pie filling to our ready-made pie crust, you wanna add the pie crust to the preheated oven at 350 degrees. We're trying to avoid a broken pie crust. So add your pie crust to the preheated oven for four to five minutes until it gets a little hardened. Now that my ready-made pie crust is hardened, as you can see, I'm going to pour my pumpkin pie mixture right into it. Look at all of this niceness. Mm -mm -mm. I'm in love with this baby. Ooh la la. And I'm just gonna give it that nice shake, making sure all those ear bubbles are being removed and give it that tap to make sure it's all leveled. We are set and ready to bake our pumpkin pie. We're gonna bake it for 60 minutes or until the pie is set in the center on a preheated oven at 350 degrees. So guys, let's go. Look at my baby. 
If you love how this pumpkin pie recipe is coming along, please let me know in the comment section. And you can also go back and check with your knife. And if it comes all clean like this, it is ready. We're also gonna give it a test try in the center because we wanna make sure it is officially finished before we turn the oven off. And look at that, my pumpkin pie is officially finished. So guys, we're gonna transfer it and we're gonna let it cool off for half an hour time before we cut in. We don't wanna break it up. So we'll see you guys back in half an hour. And we are back guys. And now I'm going to do the taste test. So let me just insert my knife through this baby. You can literally feel how moist it is as the knife goes straight down to the pie crust. Please take your time guys, no rush because you don't wanna break it apart. Take your time guys. And look how easily this comes out of my pie pan. And boom, touched on on my plate like a G. OMG, I cannot wait to dig in. Look at all of this niceness right here. Homemade pumpkin pie is the best. Cannot beat that. Look how moist and gluey this looks. Topping it off with some of my whipped cream on top. Cannot go wrong here, guys. Mm -mm -mm. I know it's gonna be so yummy. Are you ready, guys? Let's dig in the first taste test together. I love to eat whipped cream, so I'm just dipping it on my whipped cream because I want to taste all that niceness. My taste bud is going to be rocking right now. Let's go. Mm, mm, mm. This is super yummy, guys. My taste bud is dancing for joy right now. Look at my pumpkin pie. Guys, I need to go in again because I cannot resist this right here. Mm, mm, mm. You need to give it a try, guys. See, I cannot stop eating this pumpkin pie. Look at that. Another dig in. Look at that going in. Mm, mm, mm. OMG. This is the perfect pumpkin pie I've ever had in my entire life. No joke. It is just perfectly combined and seasoned. My taste buds, as I mentioned earlier, were dancing for joy. This is the perfect Thanksgiving pumpkin pie you need in your kitchen. I hope this becomes your new pumpkin pie recipe because it became mine. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please do not forget to subscribe if you're new here. Do not forget to turn your notification button on so you don't miss out any video that we post. And also guys, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Have a blessed week. Stay tuned. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a Merry Christmas when it comes. Stay blessed and see you guys soon. Bye guys.